Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. You want to be a part? A part. You, want, you want to change? So what do you have to do first? First you have to change the crowd that you're around. Right. Now Roosevelt, you see what's going on right here at the end of the corner? Is this on? the stuff that we need to keep in our community? What's going on? Drug dealing is going on. That's what's going on. We're not getting off of nowhere. We stand right here. We're teaching a Bible. That's right. That's what we're going to do. Right. But you see what our people do? When the word of God come out, we hate God's law. That's right. We kill our own selves. Right. What we teaching is love. Right. What we teaching is building the nation again. Right. How can we take over and rule the earth high as hell? Right. Right. How can we take over and rule the earth drunk as hell? Right. We can't. Right. We can't defend ourselves from anything. Right. That's why a lot of death going on in Chicago, because everybody's so damn high. Right. You ain't seeing what's going on. Right. That's You're right. not worried about your surroundings. Right. Right. So that's what we got to do. We're going to keep talking. Oh, so like I said, okay, not, watch this. I want y'all to listen. Go to uh, go to uh, Deuteronomy real quick. Ephesians real quick. Ephesians 5 and 11 about changing your surroundings. The reason I brought that up is we have to change who we hang around right. if you want to grow. Because you said you want to go. Roosevelt, you want to change? You want to make a change in the community? Right. You got to stop hanging around people that don't give a damn about the community. That's right. That's what you got to do. That's what you have to do. Give me that read. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11. Bring it have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. See what God said? Have no fellowship with drug dealers. Right. Have no fellowship with fornicators. Right. Have no fellowship with adulterers. Right. The brother earlier was walking past trying to get phone numbers. Right. To do what? Make her another baby mama. Right. He wasn't thinking about marriage. That's right. None of these brothers over here thinking about marrying their women. That's because right. Because they too busy getting them high. Jeez. To do what? Go up in them and give them diseases. STDs. That's why it's running rampant here in Chicago. That's right. right. Because we don't love one another. Bring it out. Because we want to stay with the unfruitful works of darkness. Bring That's it right. out. When the Bible coming out and the scriptures coming out about who we are, we the Israelites, the greatest nation God ever created. Right. We got to come back and keep his commandments. I don't want to hear that. Right. Y'all got to give up off this block. Right. We not getting off for of nothing. That's right. We're going to stay right here on this block and teach this Bible. That's right. right. Read. But rather, reprove right. them. What right. did the Bible say? Reprove them. That's what we doing. Reprove me to correct. Because that's love. Give me that. Leviticus 1917. Bring it up. That's real love. Did y'all ever know that? To correct your brother is real love? If I see you high on drugs, if I love you, what I'm going to tell you? The right thing. To, to, to What's the work, right thing? That's too. Watch yourself off of it. Right. Get off of it, right? You, my brother, my love, you're at work. I don't come out the same Watch this. Read. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Bring it up. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. See what God said, Roosevelt? We're not supposed to hate our brothers in our hearts. Right. Our heart is our mind. Right. Because right. that's where it starts. Right. The idea, oh, I'm going to wake up today and waste my time standing on the corner making no money and killing my people at the same time. Right. And yep. then when I'm doing this, I can end up in jail with a group, a group, a whole bunch of men. Right. right. Who wants to go to jail and sit amongst men? Right. That's right. Not me. Are we yeah. sodomites out here? Do we really love what God tell us to do? Teach. We have to really come back to this Bible. Bring it out. Why would you want to waste your life in prison, in jail, and you can be somewhere helping your people? Right. right. We need an army, right? We need men for an army, right? Right. How can we have that if everybody in jail? Right. Bring it out. Right. How can we have that if all the men is in jail? Right. How can we get to communities and families if all the men is locked up? Right. right. Who going to train these children? Bring the it women? Out. We going to keep letting the black woman lead us? Right. Look where it has led us to. Right. A destroyed right. nation. Right. That's the rage, the Thou shalt anyone rebuke thy neighbor. And that's what we coming out here to do, rebuke. That's right. We have to rebuke the sin that we see out here. Right. Our people are bugged out. Right. And a whole bunch of sins. Right. And they don't want to hear the word. Right. That's why we're going to keep reading and keep bringing out the word. Jeez. Because right. eventually it will plant a seed in your mind and say, damn, 
I remember once ago they was telling me I'm an Israelite. I got to change. Right. Maybe today is that day. Read this. And not suffer sin upon him. Uh-huh. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against thy children of thy people. So you see what the Bible say, you young men over there? God said, don't hate, don't bear a grudge against your brothers. Right. Don't hate your brothers that come out here and teach you Bring it to up. build you up, right. to show you you're the greatest nation God ever made. That's right. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with telling a black man that drugs is wrong? Right. What's wrong with telling the black man that get married, right. get a wife, get a get a husband? What's right. wrong with that? Right. What is wrong with that? Teach. Nothing. But we have been destroyed with television. Right. We have been destroyed with these rappers that's popular here in Chicago. Bring it up. That produce evil throughout the whole world. Bring it up. You brothers should be standing on the corner telling people stop listening to this bullshit crap music. Right. That's destroying us. That's making us hate each other. Right. Teach. But are we not? Are we doing that? No. We don't give a damn. That's why we continuously, continuously, continuously keep getting shot down in the street. Bring it up. Whether it's by us or the police. Right. It continues to happen. Right. Give me Isaiah 59, verse 1. Watch what the Bible say. My brother in the orange. Come listen to the Bible. Come here, right here. Come stand right here. Listen to this Bible. Okay, watch this. Read. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1. Bring Behold, up. the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save. You see what God said? Even though Deuteronomy 28, what the brother was bringing out to you, the curses of God, happened to us, Roosevelt, even though all of this happened, and we at the bottom right now, and we destroyed mentally, God said his hand not shortened that he can't save us. Right. Meaning what his hand is not shortened that he can't reverse what right. happened to us. Right. And put us back in our rightful place, meaning right. what? Being in rulership. Right. Ruling everything. That's right. But what's the problem? Why do you think that's not happening? Because nobody, nobody give a damn. Watch this read. Neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. God said his ear not heavy that he can't hear you when you want to change. Bring it up. But when you're in the midst of sin and wickedness and then something happened, you get shot, you get killed, then you pray to the Lord, oh Lord, keep me alive. I'm sorry. God said he ain't hearing that. Right. Right now is the chance to get God to hear you. That's, That's right. right. If you want God to hear you, you will come right here and listen to the Bible. Bring right. it up. If you want God to hear you, you will come right here and hear what God is saying. That's right. Out of the Bible. Right. That's right. But our people don't want God to hear them. Teach. Our people too busy listening to Satan. Right. Read. But your iniquity. But what? Your iniquity. You see what God said, Roosevelt? Our iniquity. What is an iniquity? What's iniquity? Do you know? Another word for it is sin. Right. What is sin? I'm going to ask both of y'all. What's sin? Okay, bad sin. Okay, what is sin according to what God said? First John, I'm going to show you what sin is. Break it up. Sin is simply this. Watch this. Because a Christian church, we go to church, do they teach us what sin is? No. That's why we're doing stuff like this. I guarantee most of them over there is Christians. Right. Right. But they selling drugs to their people. Break it up. But they believe in God, though. Our people destroyed. Right. And Muslims. Right, Muslims be the toughest, strongest game bangers out here. Right, right. They be GDs and all type of stuff. Be game bang, but talk about our Muslims. Right. Following after the footsteps of little dirt. Watch this read. First John, chapter three, verse four. Bring it up. Whosoever committed sin. See that? That's the topic, right? That's the question. What is sin? So right here it's saying, whosoever commit sin, transgressive also the law. Transgressive meaning to break. Right. Meaning whosoever committed sin, Breaketh the law. Right. Watch this read. For sin is the transgression of the law. So God is saying what? Sin, sisters, brother, y'all hear that? God says sin is the breaking of the commandments of God. Right. right. So in order for God to hear us, what must we stop doing? For sure. Absolutely. Stop breaking the commandments of God, right? right. right. I'm going to show you a commandment. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 10. What's one of the commandments that God gave us as Israelites? Cause that's who we are. You're not African American. You're not black. You're an Israelite. That's right. That's your nationality. Jeez. That's who you are. You're not a nigga no more. Right. You're an Israelite. You understand that? That's what you gotta come back to. We not Muslims. We not Buddhists. We not atheists. We none of those. Right. But watch what God says dealing with game banking and drug dealing. My brother, you got a second. Watch this. I want to show you what God say how to teach our children. Watch this, cause you're you're a young black man. So watch what God said to guide them so they don't end up in game banging and stuff like that. Watch this though, watch this, listen. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 10. 
My go. son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. God is saying, guess what? If the sinners on a local corner right here entice thee, and they desire thee to buy from them, to be like them, to sell drugs like them, to do the things that they do, God said, don't consent. Right. Don't agree to that. Right. That's what we got to teach our children. Right. That's right. Don't listen and take heed to peer pressure. Right. Because that's why a lot of our children fall and go into this gang life. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.